let this field do this. Thought it would take five or ten minutes and hit ACOM accusing people. I'm hearing it in the hallway, Eva. The same five with Gary. You ain't sleep today, you laughing. Good. Stay woke. Stay woke. It ain't nothing funny about the business of the city, Miss Eva Word. Ms. Fields is speaking. I'm asking that you would stop talking or go outside and talk. Point of order. What's your point of order? Madam Chair, There's so from point this point on, you finna pick on folks I'm like not. you're picking on me. That's my point and my question. This can be a point of information. A point of, a point order, of order is a breach of the rules. And what so rule I am I breaching? Point of information you need to point make of it order. up when you first I'm do it. I'm going to make it second. Point of information. What's your point of you information? You finna proceed treating everybody the same. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you, Let's sir. Miss Fields, continue. You know everybody heard the statement, Mr. Mays. That's been ans asked and answered. I didn't we are moving it in the on. Of this. But now if you we would, can move on, but we can I'm because I said we can. Because when I do that, everything should stop. Her, you, and everybody. You should stop so that you Ms. can Ms. hear. Ms. Galloway, who are you said. talking to? Who Mr. are you Mays? talking to? I'm done. Mr. Now, Mays. you going to be done if you don't respect this seat I'm sitting in and talk to me like you got some Mr. sense. Mr. Mays, you are getting ready to, I, you are I'm being warned that you what? are disrupting this meeting now. That's correct. Okay. On purpose. Oh, okay. On purpose. Well, as long as you realize. I'm a civil disobedient guy. Well, I guess I better not read. Gonna... That's what got us in this mess anyway. Oh, Everybody. What's your point of view? This is not Jermaine. It ain't Tito neither. It ain't Marlon or Jackie. It is Jermaine. And wherever you pick that word up at, I think it's spelled G-E-R-M-I-N-E. -E. I don't know. But Miss Galloway, no, please, I got the flow. Miss Galloway, you don't have to help them. I got the flow. Let me handle Mr. myself. Mays. I'm a Miss Galloway Mr. what? Mr. Mays, when there's a You point interrupted me. You out of order. I'm calling you to order. Mr. As a matter of fact, Mr. Griggs publicly no. called a mayor racist. As That's, a matter of fact, come on, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Order, Madam Chair, you're out of order. I'm speaking. Uh, I'm speaking. Orders you're of out of order. order. Don't of interrupt the day. me. Orders of the day. Point of order. Orders of the day. That is I not a good a, a big man in a strawberry shake. You were out of order. Talking about orders of the day when I'm speaking. Anybody else want to order something? Well, Mr. Mays, I'm going to, even though you did a phony point of order, because no rule has been broken. But I'm going to say, Mr. Point Wilson. Of, point of order, please. point of order. What is your point of order, Mr. Mays? Yeah, you don't recognize the point of order, and I have to keep saying that you shall be removed. It's not a phony point of order. It's a point of order to get to the business of this meeting, not to discuss why Mr. Winfrey and Ms. Galloway abstain. That's not the agenda. We're in a public hearing, so it ain't phony. Mr. Mays, Mr. Mays please, I'm going to give you a warning if you don't restrain yourself. A well, point you of order. Not, cause I'll appeal it. Let's Mr. move on. Mr. This has got Miss Miss Fields. Mr. We Mays, are you are arguing with me. Point of order. Removing you of point of order. section thirty one ten to point of order. meeting. Mute point, point of order. Mute point of order. Mute him, Janelle. Point of order. Janelle, you can't mute him. Mute me, Janelle. I got a point of order. Please And she's going to be removed no, for ignoring it. Point of order. Janelle, have you muted Mr. Mays? Point of order. Don't mute me, Janelle, don't. It's gonna, we going to be into it. Now, I got a point of order, and you got to acknowledge it, Miss Ms. Field. No, please, nothing. Quit trying to get people to be easy. Thank you very much. Miss Media. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Go ahead, Miss. Uh, this is a city. Mr. Mays, please stop. This ain't no stop. game. Please stop. We're dealing with millions of dollars. But you're not And bankruptcy is yard. a lightning rod coming out her mouth. You didn't hear Maybe it, Maybe she was talking about you. Thank I you. heard she everything. Wasn't. You didn't. Let's move you on. Didn't. Thank I'm going to do it at a quick oh, point of information. Remember, that's a It's rude. never quick with you. It's never no, quick. No, not when y'all up there cackling. Go ahead, Miss Lewis, It ain't um, quick Lewis, with you. Please. You ain't the chair. I am. Okay, let's see what happened in court Monday. I can't wait. You can wait. I can't wait. Because we all going to wait. I can't wait. It's according to his letter. 
call them liars, financial brand. Mr. Mays, we only Ms. have an Ms. hour left. Ms. Galloway. And so I'm asking you to wrap up. Ms. Galloway, I know you is, but when Ms. Fields say bankruptcy, you don't ask her It's already thing. been clarified. So why are you interrupted me and now Mr. I Mays, got the wrap floor? Up. You didn't do a You will wrap up. You will quit interrupting me I as won't. I wrap up. You can Who talk you to the media you're talking to after. a six-year-old? You can talk to Ms. the media Galloway, after. Do you think you are a teacher? I think that we are done with you, Mr. Barton. I'm, I'm 60 Thank years you, old. Thank you, Joanna. Madam Clerk, the motion on the floor is to censor Councilman Mays, and I'm assuming that April 8th means that he can return to the April 8th meeting. Is that correct, Ms. Worthy? That is correct. So... Madam Clerk, roll call. Ms. Fields? Yes. Ms. Winfrey Carter? Yes. Mr. Winfrey? No. Ms. Galloway? Yes. Mr. Griggs? Yes. Ms. Worthing? Yes. Mr. Davis? Yes. Mr. Guerra? Yes. The vote is uh, seven yes, one no. We are now at public today. The terroristic threats, the bringing of people in a threatening manner. I'm tired of it, and something gonna get done today. I'm tired of it. Thank you for. I just like to state that the reason why I think this is appropriate is every single meeting we have for the past, for sure, the last month, Mr. Mays has been disorderly and has been removed multiple times. He seems to learn nothing from being removed. He seems to learn nothing from his behaviors have consequences. So I think the consequences have not been made clear to I think they had to go to that him. far is disappointing for me to see as a council member and disappointing, I think, to many members of the public. And having to repetitively do this same type of thing is, is not good for this, this community and this council on being productive. So I think that if some, a council member has to be punished for that, type of action so that they would know that we're serious and we're trying to get business done. I support this as long as it's legal. And I want to make sure, though, however, that he's not being financially stipend in this, that he will still be able to afford his bills. I just, just quick, just to removal of his attendance then for this one. Just want to be clear. But let's not That's compare more. apples to oranges. Let's not compare maybe speaking out of turn or being frustrated with screaming, yelling, damn you, damn you, damn you over and over in this council chamber. Has any one of my other colleagues ever done that? No. We cannot compare anyone else to Mr. May's behavior. He is one of a kind, so much so that people from Georgia and Alabama, as he says, follows him and watches our meetings like it's a soap opera. Now, we can't wait for Mr. Mays to be here to vote on this, because if he was here, we wouldn't get to speak at all. Point of order, point of order, point of information. And we would never, ever get this discussion done. Because Look at us. we're moving along. Every time I have a question, I can call on Mr. Mays. However, I cannot support or conduct Mr. Mays's disruptive behavior. I promise my constituents that I would always behave in a professional manner. And that's not happening up here with Mr. Mays. Now, I don't know, I don't know what you guys want. But, no, but, 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 but the thing about Point it is- Point of order, Mr. The Chair. Thing about it order. Is, somebody yeah, has got to be warned or we are not going I'm, to get ordered. And Mr. Mays will tell you, I'm gonna let you know, I'm gonna let him know when he's wrong. I will let him know when he's wrong. Right is right and wrong is wrong. Amen. And on many occasions, Mr. Mays has been wrong. It's the way you react. People can't see what else is going up here because they're so they they're paying attention to to how he responds to whatever is going on up here and it has to stop people got to stop poking at him and mr mays has to react 
in a professional um, manner. I want to say to the residents of the First Ward, if you have watched me for any amount of time, I've contacted every pastor in this community that has had any type of influence with Councilman Mays. I have contacted people that are closest to him. I have spoken to Councilman Mays on multiple occasions. And I, you can say what you want to say, but nobody has experienced the level of disrespect and abuse from Councilman Mays like Councilwoman Galloway. And I have sat quiet on this council for seven years. There were multiple women before this council the council that was elected in 13, that was trying to get some things against Councilman Mays. But you know what I said? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go to Councilman Mays on my own. I'm going to go to leadership. I'm telling you, I am a wife, and I'm telling you if you serve any man in leadership, that there is no one that has any authority over them. They are dangerous to themselves and everybody around them. I am a mother. I am a wife. I have two grown boys, very respectful. My husband and I have been together for 37 years. And the level of constraint that my husband has shown. You know why? Because it's not my husband or my children's responsibility to protect me from any person up here. It is the protection of the police well. department. Why do you think some of us are absent? I personally leave at the point in time in a meeting where business has ceased to be discussed and it is now just some reality show with Eric Mays screaming at whoever is chairing. I went home from one meeting. I literally, like a child, had to put warm oil in my ear and I thought he had maybe damaged my eardrum because my ear hurt so bad that night and the next morning. Now, there is no one, no one on this council that has ever exhibited that type of behavior other than Mr. I'm going to say this. You may have uh, put Mr. Mays or uh, stopped him from being on council. You can't stop him from being a Flint citizen. And when he come back here, know this with your motions, that he going to come back with a fury. And We are now resuming special affairs. Mr. Chair. Madam Field. As a point of order, um, the council person for the first ward is sitting up here and he has been censured and should not be sitting at the council table. He should be sitting, if anywhere, in the audience. We made it here. Tell We will have order in the chambers. We will not have an holler out, shout outs, because I'm finna, Miss Fields, indulge me. Repeat what you said. The first ward council person has been censured and should not be sitting up here as a part of the council body because he has been censured. He should be sitting out in the audience. Point of information. Well, Miss Fields. We did take a, a motion last week to discipline a member. And by charter, I'm gonna have city, Madam City Attorney read the charter, charter of what we've done because we already have voted to discipline a member. Soon as Madam Clerk, Madam Attorney read it, we'll go from there. Point of information. The uh, Flint City Charter, Section 3-103B, states that the city, uh, the city Council shall determine its own rules of procedure, may compel attendance of members, and may punish its own members for misconduct. And I, I believe that's the section, the may, um, pu may punish its own members for misconduct that the Council relied upon last week. Thank you, Madam. Thank you, Madam Attorney. Councilmember Mays, please, I'm going to say it again, please take a seat out in the audience. 
Yes, sir, I'll do that, but y'all didn't have a public hearing and give public notice. Point of order, Mr. Chair. Madam President. First of all, I um, want to say that I do appreciate Councilman May's assistance in the first ward. I don't agree with the delivery. What he comes through may be um, not right. Well, if it's being disrespectful, it's not right. But as far as speaking and representing the North End, he's the person for the job. Yeah. I'm worried about the level of discourse that we have on the council, uh, especially with the racial divide that we have. I think that dog whistles are being used when we talk about, I, I still remember uh, council members talking about uh, mandatory or suggesting mandatory drug testing, talking about mental health. You know, those are, those are racial dog whistles and I don't think they have a place here in this council. My point of thing is I live in, in Eric May's ward. And it's ridiculous how this meeting down here be carried on. It's ridiculous. If everybody and anybody that know me know, I'm out cold with you anyway. But if y'all gonna get rid of and give him 30 days off, give Cape Field, Eva, Monica, give them 30 days off too. Because they started this stuff. Everybody know Eric just like me, crazy as hell. So shit. Don't uh, do point that. Of, point of order, Monica point of order. That Shirley, oh, Miss Shirley, no. you can't use them kind of words. Okay, in this. but you know me, Marie. But anyway, <laughs> this wrong. Anything that Eric say, evil, mainly can't feel. She started. And then Monica instigates the stuff. That's wrong. I've been told, Eric, do you need me to come down here? I've been told Eric that. But the thing of it is, the thing of it is, this is my first time coming. If they go, who do I go talk to to let them know? Eva, Kate Fields, and Monica gonna get some time off. State too. your name for the record. Point of order. Ms. Fields? This audience member has continued to speak out of turn. I think she should be warned. Absolutely correct. I'm trying my best to keep y'all in here. Like I said before, and I'm going to say it again, and I don't care who like it, if he talked to my mother or my sister or my wife or my friend like how he had talked to some of y'all, I would be in jail and I would be dead somewhere. And I say, it ain't what you say, it's how you say it. And I got a mother. I got a brother, a sister. I got a, um, a friend. And I don't want nobody talking to my woman or to my wife or to my mother or to Mr. my Davis, sister. Mr. Davis, I have a lot of respect for you, and I can't believe you are a part of this. It's expected from the white people of this board. She's too busy playing solitaire to care what the people are saying. She's too busy going out for a cigarette. He's too busy drinking. We know what's happening. Point of order, point of order, point of if order. If you don't like point the position, order. if you don't point like the position, order. quit. Point of order. Mr. Five. Turn in your badge and leave. Mr. Fife. You don't want to be here. Mr. First Fife. Ward has come strong. I told y'all on Wednesday this man was coming back with a fury. Looky here. All these people. And so I'm here to tell you, don't y'all misunderstand me. I come out of the NAACP. I'm an activist. I've been the third vice president, been in council meetings since I was 21. And sticks and stones may break my bones, but words and Facebook will never kill me. God bless you. God bless the city of Flint. And I'm so glad that people was able to observe what I think they've seen today. 
people should have seen something. God bless you.